Thank you very much. Okay. So a very good morning and uh, welcome you all for the first session of this training program organized by CED, Center for Entrepreneurship Development, on the topic um, which is close to our heart for many Hello, I request everyone to mute your Zoom call. Thank you. And uh, so this is the program we, we are thinking exclusively for our PhD scholars and uh, PG students to provide you what is the background of our, of our center and also to create a, a platform so that you can able to convert your uh, research idea into business opportunity uh, so that you can able to start your career in this uh, new world of entrepreneurship startup opportunities atma vigar it is a bustling concept in india so to introduce about ced uh, ced is the center for entrepreneurship development right now we are functioning in an university in the cpd building ground floor okay so within another two months we'll move to the uh, another building with going to have a large lot of facilities uh, in which the students can come and uh, convert the idea into product uh, yes we are developing a fabrication lab which is going to have all the mechanical iot electronics components and so that if any students come with the idea he can able to make a prototype and uh, he can test this capability of the prototype and then um, he can walk away then further he can develop into a commercial product okay that is the one area we are working and the another thing cd most um, another role is to create awareness um, about entrepreneurship so that the students can become a uh, business uh, person in the future as an alternate career uh, and also we help the new ideas to get funding from various sources like uh, IDA and government of Tamil Nadu and also under ROSA program of government of India okay so if the product is good if the uh, concept is good the students can pitch for that idea and get the funding to develop as a prototype so once the prototype is developed and tested they can turn to it a commercial product for further funding so we help them so we visit uh, ced website to know about the uh, innovation voucher program and the winners from the ceg in the last three months uh, about three students from ceg and university got the funding and a few more in the pipeline okay so if your idea if you are able to convert your idea into a business proportion we can guide you to get the funding so that you can use the funding to develop a prototype further into a commercial product okay. so with this background uh, as all of you know charles dickinson or charles darwin once said it is not the strongest or most intelligent to survive it is the most adaptable to the change say so now the change is the need of the hour okay so you have to change your idea into business okay so this particular program for the research scholars and pg program is a brand child of uh, our deputy director mahalashmi and uh, also our ced team okay so we are starting today with a uh, inauguration or our most of awareness program about the basic process of entrepreneurship what are the steps in entrepreneurship and development how you can become entrepreneur okay so then the next session is on the ideation and design thinking that means how to convert your idea into prototype then how the prototype can be converted into a business model business model canvas on december 1st on december 4th how to find out your customer discovery and how to validate your product okay then there is a funding opportunity session is on december 5th on december 6th we expect you to pitch your idea and we will evaluate your idea and we will guide you to submit the application for funding process so this is a whole process of doing this okay 
and uh, we want to, so i know that uh, the task of converting uh, student into entrepreneurship and other things is a difficult because most of you are willing to go for a job or you want to settle in a contented life and other thing uh, but it shows the interest of 26 or 27 people who joined this program at correct time at 11 o'clock even though we got registration more than 100 okay so i thought at least 50 uh, percent will turn up but the situation i don't know uh, so please uh, inform your friends who are registered okay to join immediately so that everyone get benefited okay and also the biggest success of uh, any entrepreneur or a startup company is to know when not to change or when not to take risk that is also a art of uh, being a successful entrepreneur okay so with this uh, background okay i'm happy to be with you and uh, from uh, my team mr uh, saktivel and uh, dr mahalachmi is also in this uh, uh, session okay so if you need any help uh, you can ask them okay and uh, so today's session is handled by mr ashok kumar uh, mr ashok is a founder of Hapro energy and uh, he is developing a diagnostic technology to check the performance of solar power plant and also by the way of checking the performance he is able to identify the failure and he is can able to provide the solution to bring back the performance to the optimum level he is alumni of CEG with a bachelor degree in electrical engineering he has more than six years of experience in system engineering and entrepreneurship after working with companies like GE, Total Steel, Total Power, he turned into an entrepreneur. He has his own company. Okay. He founded this company, Arthro Energy, with the support of uh, CED. So we, we got through the funding through the IVP program in his earlier uh, stages. His area of experience is in the business canvas, uh, business model creation, IoT, hardware design, and project management. Okay. So now it is over to Asok to have a session for next uh, one, one and a half hours. And request the participants to raise your query. Then and there, please clarify. And it, I want the session to be more interactive and uh, hope you'll have a good learning i would like to see at least uh, 10 of you to become a successful ivp winner to go to the first stage of product development by converting your research potential into a product okay. so the, the the research is where where the knowledge is you obtain and the product where you have you can be able to make your business part of it so our aim is to convert your research into a business okay, we'll help you the process will be explained in the next for your six sessions then you can continue with us for developing your career in the entrepreneurship area okay so i wish you all the best now over to Mr. Asok, to say to start the session. Before that, uh, if Dr. Mahalachmi is there, I, I, I will ask her to say a few words. Madam? Good morning, sir. Good morning, please. Hello, okay. Madam, we are not able to hear you properly. Sir, uh, we are able now? Yeah. Good morning, participants. So, welcome you uh, for this after this research startup program. Uh, so, uh, this is one of our dream of uh, uh, everyone in uh, CED. 
uh, to make every research scholar of uh, all the four campus uh, to any uh, start their own business. Uh, so when you when uh, think about startup, it is not something which is uh, very far away. We are almost uh, at the um, completion of the study. We are almost at ninety percent of starting a business. The only thing you should know is how to make your idea into a commercially viable thing. So that will be taught in the series of lectures uh, which will be happening through our two years. So I uh, hope everyone uh, should uh, listen to all these uh, lectures with uh, enough enthusiasm and first believe in yourself that you can start a company. And for starting a company, you only need your. Uh, uh, we encourage you to do everything uh, which is which takes to start and make you start a company. The only thing you need for starting that is uh, perseverance and passion. And the rest, everything will be uh, uh, made available to you with the help of CV. So please believe in us and believe in you, and uh, please listen to all these lectures with patience. Uh, again, uh, uh, a warm welcome to all the participants. Looking forward to have a good collaboration with you all. Thank you, sir. Thank you, participants. We open to our show. Thank you, sir. Uh, thank you, uh, sir. Uh, thank you, Dr. Saranam, Professor Sir, and uh, Mahalakshmi for the introduction. Okay. I am audible to everyone, no? Yes, sir. Okay. Okay. So good morning to all. Uh, myself uh, Ashok Kumar. I am the founder of Author Energy. So already Professor has introduced about the uh, Author Energy, what we are doing. So we are a diagnostic technology. So we help to identify the failures and the performance issues in the machines which are happening in the solar plant and give uh, insight in form of uh, what are the action has to be taken to rectify the uh, performance issues. So that's our back, uh, background and uh, Chennai Metro Railway Station is one of the clients and we are in the early stage and we are growing currently. Uh, so in this session, what we are uh, going to uh, do is like we are trying to understand what are the basic terms used in the startups, what are the few um, tips which have to be more conscious while uh, running a company. So uh, the whole agenda for today event is First, we'll go to under, try to understand who is entrepreneur, what does the entrepreneurship is all about. Then we'll understand what is a startup, how you can call a company as a startup. Okay. Then what is business model? So business model is all about like you can uh, convey any business idea in a single uh, sheet of paper uh, called, uh, called business model canvas framework. So we'll uh, see the overall view, how it looks. Then what is the differentiation between a small business, startup, and corporate? And one of the key things about uh, startup is uh, growth. So growth of the company is very crucial for any, uh, for example, it is maybe uh, for individual. Uh, with respect to individual, uh, career growth, personal growth is uh, very crucial. It's very crucial. Uh, crucial. So uh, same we will try to understand the growth and uh, technology. And what are the various phases of startup? So initially, currently you are in an idea stage, or you don't may you may not have an idea also. From but you have a passion to start a company, you have an, uh, an energy to build up a company. In that case, we'll uh, see what are the stages. For example, from idea to prototype, proof of concept, then proof of concept to prototype, and a prototype to uh, going to market, where you can sell directly product to the customer. What are the stakeholders involved in each of the stage? Who can help? Uh, you in growing the business in this each stages. Then important part we are, we are going to uh, do in this uh, session is evaluating your startup idea. So if you have an idea, what are the key characteristics or parameters that the idea should have? What are the things I have to check before I, I am going, for example, uh, building a company may take uh, three to five years of effort. Okay. So in that case, I'm going to invest my next three years of time. Yeah. So I have to have a conference and a facts that the idea which I have chosen is uh, it is going to create an impact. It is going to help me to grow personally and also going to help the people outside the market. So we have to create some facts about uh, our idea so that we can take the risk and start the company. Then what are the uh, mindsets we have to create it in ourselves to be a better entrepreneur? 
to be a better founder of the company so we can run a uh, company at the global scale so and we will see case study of ether energy so on google google is also a uh, example where a phd scholar uh, converted his uh, research idea into a business so ether energy also started in a simpler way uh, so uh, ether energy is making electric vehicle uh, currently so initially they just uh, uh, did their uh, battery pack as their uh, project during uh, me then uh, since the cost of the battery pack is 40% of the electric vehicle so they developed a technology uh, around the battery techn- uh, battery management and the battery pack design after that they scaled and iterated the product to become an electric vehicle and they are currently in the market and they are one of the best uh, selling electric vehicles okay so let's start the session this is the whole agenda that uh, we will follow uh, through this uh, session first thing is entrepreneurship so entrepreneurship uh, is all about cost of creating and extracting value so we will see what is value in the next slide so uh, entrepreneurship is also uh, the activity of setting up the business or businesses by taking server uh, survival risk in the hope of profit making profit or in the process of making profit so maybe you will take financial risk you will be invest your uh, money you may take invest your time you may because time is in turn uh, your uh, money valuable money so you will invest one year of your time uh, doing some research to identify the uh, technology whether uh, developing the technology then going to the market to validate it so it has a, a, a lot of uh, risk involved it. so uh, the person who do it is called entrepreneur so entrepreneurship is all about uh, creating setting up a business in the hope of making profit and also creating value okay so let's understand what is value value of product or service so as a customer what's in for me for using a product or a service that is value so value can be in terms of cost benefit or it can be uh, other benefit also or like uh, expense uh, uh, services energy psychic so in the right side you can see there are uh, uh, customer perceived value can be defined as a total customer benefit and total customer cost so as a customer if i am trying to spend uh, 1000 rupees for getting a job done if you are able to get it done for me uh, by for at uh, off the rate of 500 rupees then i am able to save uh, 500 uh, remaining 500 rupees so that is the value for me in terms of financial monetary cost in case of uh, energy cost uh, if you take danzo or zomato as you they are delivering food for you so you don't need to put your effort go to the shop and collect the food they are able to deliver you at the food step so uh, uh, food door uh, door step sorry okay so this are the uh, uh, benefits uh, of benefits which can be given to a client customer so can you list some of the uh, startup which you are using regularly you can we have can be interactive you can unmute and uh, uh, we can chat each other so it's not a it can be more interactive so what are the startups you are uh, using day by day in your life yeah you can uh, unmute and communicate uh, say it in the chat so ott platforms we are using so ott platform you are using so other than that so all over all over service taxi services other than that phone pay phone pay are yeah, good the other than that zoom team software team yeah good so other than that day to day like which soft uh, what are the startup companies or uh, apps which you are using uh, in your uh, day to day day like you can put it in the chat or communicate yeah zoom someone and uh, form- formzen app i am using sir okay yeah for medical for buying medicines and uh, to consult with doctor oh. there are practos and a few other apps okay other than that good it's a good answer then flipkart amazon flipkart amazon yeah for buying product we are using flipkart and amazon okay so just we have given lot of examples that is extremely good now we will try to understand what is the value as a customer you are using this apps so why why you are you what are the benefits you are getting out of it let's uh, let's uh, discuss about it for example let's take uh, ola and uber 
why you people prefer ola and uber compared to a local auto or a or a uh, uh, fast track some other uh, like uh, who are having a travel agencies why you prefer ola and uber what is the value for it you can uh, see the right side and you can uh, tell it it can be a monetary cost or energy cost time cost like that you can pitch something time cost the booking time is reduced compared to the other taxi or uh, hotel yeah good you don't need to communicate the location to him you can ping the location he will directly come to the location exactly you don't need to phone communicate and uh, do uh, spend more energy other than that uh, they bring lot of safety yeah there are lot of safety they have sos system integrated within the app so they are safer so they have a technology which makes uh, like safety when you are traveling in the night time other than that there's a fixed price for a kilometer so there's no need of bargaining or anything yeah you have yeah it's extremely good so you can have a peace of mind okay before booking i can check this is the price i can compare and i can happily have a peace of mind uh, so which is going to be a psychic cost okay other than that with respect to service we can say something ah uh, everyone can unmute and communicate so you have convenience and uh, there are job creations for example lot of drivers migrated to cities uh, from the local part of uh, india migrated to the cities so they can have a better life so it uh, improve the um, like a uh, lifestyle of the drivers so they are able to make a revenue of 30 to 40 1000 pairs so one of the key thing about entrepreneurs is they create uh, impact in personal life of, of the people also so next we will come to the uh, paytm google pay phone pay so how many of you use uh, google pay you can just uh, raise your hand in the zoom so we can see a poll kind of uh, voting so how many of you use google pay yeah there are already uh, four people who have raised their hand out of 30 people so how many of you use paytm uh, other than the google pay paytm or phone pay so another three people have raised okay five okay so what is the advantage for example previously there is cash you have wallet you are carrying everything so you have banks also okay where you can go physically and do uh, all the transactions why you are using this uh, platform this digital payment platform what is the advantage for you what is the benefit for you yeah. a lot of time is saving sir so instead of waiting in the banks and all we can i can we can easily transfer money to yeah you don't need to travel you don't need to waste your energy you can do the transaction at any time at any place at your own convenience other than that that is a that is the major thing other than that from your perspective you can give uh, your own benefit why you are using this app it's about the whole uh, process what we are trying to do is understanding the value uh, for the product what you are using what is the value for you so you can communicate what is your, why you are using this app okay uh, it also gives uh, kind of accounts like uh, wherever you have spent you can uh, you can have the track of it yeah so what happen you can track uh, you can plan your financials okay each and every day you are making a financial transaction so all are digitally recorded so at the end of the day you can understand what is my weekly transaction daily transaction or monthly transaction you can uh, and plan your budget properly that is very good answer then offers there are a lot of cash back offers when you use this transaction when you use google pay paytm they are giving scratch cards so in the scratch scratch card there are some cash money uh, cash money there are coupon codes which are very useful for us this and also which makes us to come to this product and use it once again okay their finger tip transaction anyone can give a do any financial transaction at any place so that is the important thing okay so then we will go to on demand delivery service uh, people may be using sugi somato danzo link uh, link delivery is there what is the advantage of using this app so for let's go with uh, sugi and zomato then we will go to link and uh, danzo 
So what is this on-demand food delivery platform like uh, Swiggy and Zomato? What is the benefit for you? You can talk in the perspective of uh, uh, as a restaurant owner also, as an end user also. You can give both the perspective. Yeah, people, uh, you can unmute and uh, communicate. So it's not an issue. Everyone can unmute and we can discuss openly. So we have very limited number of people only. So please uh, have interaction. If you are an owner, yeah, with, uh, marketing. Yeah, okay, good. So from a re restaurant owner's perspective view, um, uh, more space is being uh, allocated. So if we are giving more swaggy or Zomato orders, I can have uh, more customers in the like uh, a la carte or whatever. Yeah, good. Uh, first point is, uh, uh, as a restaurant owner, you can uh, serve multiple customers. So you are not geographically constrained. So typically, you can serve the people who are around three kilometers and they will, as uh, previously said, told marketing. So Zugi and Zomato will help you to reach multiple customers. If you are uh, setting up a new restaurant in order to reach a multiple customer, it may take time. But once you would have it in a platform like uh, Zugi or Zomato, everyone can, uh, it can reach millions of people compared to uh, having an ad in front of your uh, uh, hotel or giving a pamphlet to brand your uh, uh, restaurant, it is more easier to build a uh, credibility by putting your restaurant in uh, Sugi and Zomato. Sir, I'm talking from customer point of view. Yeah. Sir, uh, in Zomato and Sugi, we are, we are see by ratings and comments, with the help of that, I can order my food and I can eat the uh, good food from the good restaurant by seeing of rating. And also, nowadays, we are, sometimes we can't cook. Uh, we can't we can't cook at the right time. We can order uh, quickly with the help of these apps. Yeah. So the food can be we can get the food delivery till night also. Now night restaurants are also becoming yeah. famous. Another thing, uh, what you uh, you said? Uh, uh, the help of uh, rate, ratings, uh, rate, ah, rating recommendation uh, system. So if you, so if you see Zomato, they have a recommendation platform. So they have dine uh, dine in also kind of recommendation app. So you can see what is the rating, what are the food, what is the cost of the food. So you can pre-plan your uh, restaurant and based on the recommendation, you can uh, uh, have a good, better food. Oh yes, sir. according to my budget, I can plan. Yeah, that's a good, that's a very good answer. Then uh, being a business owner, the business is expanded for free of cost. Yeah, Kishore has uh, told that you can expand your business for free of cost because they are going to give uh, do the branding for you and they give data points. For example, you know, they are able to forecast the demand so you can reduce the wastage of the food in the future. For example, I know if it is Friday, the restaurant has to be, uh, will have a more demand on food since it is a weekend. But in Sunday, most of the people will be home in the home, so they will be cooking on their own. So their demand will be very uh, slow on the Sunday night. So similar way, they have the data so they can uh, properly procure their groceries and uh, make a, uh, uh, reduce the food wastage. So next we will go to OTT platform like Hotstar, Netflix, Amazon. So how many of you use OTT platform of any kind? So most people will be watching IPL, I think. So it has got over. So everyone will have a, a Hotstar subscription. So how many of you are using the OTT platform? Yeah, quite a few people, around six, seven people have raised. So how many of you are not using any of this uh, uh, software, uh, like uh, Hotstar, Netflix, uh, any of this app? Yeah, a few person. How many of you are not using this OTT platform? You can raise your hand so I can, based on that, I can fix the point what I want to convey. Okay, so why you use this platform? There are already TVs which have different channels, okay, like all the, uh, based on each languages. Why you prefer OTT channel, OTT platform? What is the benefit for you? And we can we can offline at any time, sir. And we can watch whenever we want to see. So you have a flexibility of access to content. Uh, okay. Yeah, it's a Yeah, it's very good. So you can watch the content at a, at your convenience. Yes, sir. This is. So I don't know. Yeah. 
no advertisements sir uh, yeah compared to youtube where you consume content based on uh, the advertisement uh, by viewing advertisement here yes, it is like without any break ad free uh, yes sir so i don't know cost is very less compared to uh, you know going watching a movie in a theater or something yeah it's currently it's also safer okay so it has a benefit like you it uh, is this going to save you a cost and uh, and it is safer also in some uh, cur- at current situation okay then we will move to zoom and uh, microsoft team so what is the advantage of currently now we are making a zoom call so what is the uh, benefit for me also for you also so for con- uh, conducting any kind of session or class one what is the benefits you are getting yes yeah, sir traveling is reduced yeah traveling is reduced and yeah. also people like me sitting in a rural places we can use these apps and we can able to listen the classrooms meetings and all yeah, possible, you, sir, yeah, you can of... access content and uh, it is going to travel it is ready going to reduce the travel cost which is very crucial for business okay uh, so, for example if you are making a international business where you are sitting in india and selling a product in uh, us market or european market or middle east market going and physically pitching your product is going to if you are not making any physical hardware where you have to uh, make a, a touch and feel to understand the product if you are making any software apps or any uh, platforms for example netflix is a platform which is uh, developed in uh, us and you are we are consuming the data in india okay they don't make any physical visit so every can can be done in online so these meetings are they rapidly reducing the sales cost uh, to close a deal kind of so then iphone uh, will come back to iphone so why what is the benefit of uh, using iphone you can see in the right side uh, you can see one of the important thing uh, so other than that value which is not monetary and uh, cost saving there are few benefits uh, which we, which people which makes people to own iphone so what you can just to put a guess out the it's chat. a brand myopia i think so it's a brand myopia people who are aware of that brand yeah it's a brand myopia yeah what you said you have a image benefit so if i own a free uh, product yeah. i think i think iphone is safer than uh, android right. other than So your voice is cracking so can you repeat the point what you come with i think iphone is uh, safer than android I mean, yeah it has data security compared to better data security compared to android okay so they have a better uh, security policies so other than that uh, uh, what uh, previous person told it has a, it gives a image benefit so if i own a iphone like uh, i i am considered to be at a uh, premium level so i am using a premium product i feel like a king so that's the benefit which is imaginary uh, like based on image it is giving so now we understood so from previous two points you understood as a company if you are building a small company corporate company or startup you have to create value to a customer to use that product so it is as an entrepreneur your main role is to create value so as startup is a sub branch of entrepreneurship for example ownership include all the small businesses corporates and startups so startup is uh, is more specific it's more uh, different from uh, different part of entrepreneurship so with that understand what is uh, a startup as a startup is a company which is designed to grow fast what happened the startup company they grow exponentially okay so what happened day one they serve one customer but if you see on a month end they will be serving 1000 customer on month two you can see lakhs in one year they can grow exponentially to million billion of people so another example is tiktok so if you see a tiktok or true color any software so they grow like exponentially and zoom previously the zoom interaction was very less before covid okay most of them were not using online um, uh, online platform for meeting but after uh, the covid situation the market has grown exponentially like everyone is currently using zoom so a startup company is designed to grow fast so it is the one of the important characteristics of a startup company and what the startup is uh, does is it is an organization formed to for a repeatable and scalable business model so as a startup company it try to execute a business model which is 
scalable and repeatable so repeatable is like uh, for each customer the business model will be same the transaction will be same for example if you are using a google pay so for everyone you are having the same ui so you are having a same kind of interaction and the business model is same if you take youtube if you are consuming uh, content so everyone uh, is having the same youtube ui everything uh, they are going to see the ad and based on the ad the person for example if i am posting the video on the youtube platform then i will make money based on the number of uh, ads people are viewing so it is the common business uh, model for everyone so we will see what is business model in the next slide before that we want to understand what is growth as a startup i told it is uh, one of the key characteristics of it it is going to grow exponentially so uh, there are two type of growth which can there be three one is flat growth linear growth and exponential growth okay so for example take uh, uh, for example if i am a cab driver the maximum revenue i can make on a per day is as a threshold for example i can maximum drive my vehicle for 15 hours or for uh, 10 hours so in that uh, i can make around 10 rides each ride is cost or going to cost around me 200 rupees so maximum revenue i can make is around 3000 or 2000 per day so i am going to have a flat revenue for each uh, every day as a cab driver so it is a flat growth so your growth is going to be a constant for a, that is no growth it is going to be a flat growth but linear so linear growth is, can be considered say uh, for example if i am a experienced person i am uh, joining a some kind of job so based on their experience each year i will get some increment so proportionally based on the number of experience uh, um, uh, experience i am going to gain i am going to uh, get the salary based on it but exponential growth is where you try to break this linear curve and after a stage you within a short span you are able to grow uh, as a hockey stick so example i told is zoom so for example if you see uh, zoom previously it was uh, growing slowly after the covid situation the number of users has increased uh, exponentially so this is uh, this is the one of the uh, uh, few we will see some of the few cases uh, use cases for example as a shop for example i am a person i have a manufacturing unit of uh, clothes so i make all the apparels so i am trying to do i am trying to setting up a business i am trying to sell this product in the two way okay first way is uh, setting up a shop physically in my area just uh, for example in chennai i am shooting up a manufacturing unit i am trying to sell my apparel and all the things within the shop I, which i have uh, located uh, located in x location i have trying to put the shop physically and uh, sell the product another way i can do is i putting the clothes in the amazon and flipkart okay and i can sell it in the online so you can see where the growth will be linear where the growth will be exponential and why so someone can answer it so the question is i am a uh, for example i am a entrepreneur i am trying to uh, i have a own a manufacturing unit of apparel i make clothes clothing dresses everything so i try to sell my product i have two option one i can set up a physical shop at a lo- at a location and sell it another thing is i have an uh, uh, i can put it in the online uh, marketplace like amazon and flipkart so which is uh, which can help me to grow faster and why can someone unmute and answer about answer sir, amazon if you are putting it in amazon or flipkart growth yeah. will be somewhat exponential uh, in shop you can get a profit while doing that uh, uh, festival festive occasion you can get a, a profit in uh, shops okay but if you want to grow linearly uh, that uh, linearly if you want to grow na you can choose a shop shop okay but exponentially that amazon or flipkart because in night time also night 12 o'clock also the people they are booking into amazon as well as in flipkart but it is not possible in shops good so you can operate at a more extra time okay another thing and other than that this between these two what is the difference you can see so this is one of the uh, good answer uh, this is uh, sir uh, it is one of the factor other than that what is the factor so we can add it uh, i can target customers uh, we can target customers uh, easily easily from by which basis you can, you are very near to hey. uh for example if i put a shop i will get recommendations based on searches sir if you will take an uh, search engine optimization uh, depending on that i will get recommendations then i can 
yeah it's a good uh, it's good answer other than that so for example no if there is a shop who are the people who will be coming to the shop that based on the location sir yeah near up to that uh, 10 kilometers they will prefer that shop if yeah. it's around 100 kilometers if i want to buy a material in madurai it's not possible for me to go to that shop i have to order online so okay so the most different the like important thing is the customer you are reaching for example no once we set up a shop it is limited to a local uh, location and you have to compete with the nearby shop, uh, shops also uh, the quality is going to impact but in case in, in case of amazon or flipkart you are able to reach all over india so a person who is owning a company in chennai is able to reach multiple millions of people so they can have a higher probability of sales for example if i am putting a shop in a locality which have 1000 people of 1000 uh, members of population i can sell maximum to 10 people per day but if i am able to put a shop which i can reach to a million of people i can make a sales of 1000 to 1500 per day so this is the so one of the key differentiate is the technology so now we are everyone is a phd scholar here or phd students we are doing engineering so one of the key focus we want to be uh, making is on the technology what we are trying to build so other than that what are the costs we are able to reduce by because in shop no you will make the whole profit but in case of amazon flipkart you have to give some kind of margin to the amazon flipkart guy because they are hosting the product for you so what are the with respect to employees uh, sales person who will, where we need more sales person so in shop we have customer satisfaction yeah, because of uh, the cloth is not matched the size is not matched means you can replace it yes sir so that is a important point so now it has become omni channel sir so what uh, recently it happened is if you go to reliance friends you can choose you can physically feel the material okay and you can you are uh, wear uh, uh, as your size, uh, size for example there is a, there will be a test piece where you can uh, match your uh, uh, match your size and if the same color is not available you can uh, Order it in online from Reliance Shop itself. So they have made it so omnichannel. So, so both the advantages also there. What you are showing, uh, asking is uh, telling is very uh, correct. So, but in case of uh, same scenario, you can consider in IRTC. If you are booking a ticket to IRTC, and if you are going to physically they book the ticket in the railway station, which one you prefer? IRTC. IRTC. So this uh, same use case. that we can consider in the uh, book, railway booking conditions also so where, where we will completely prefer because in case of shopping we will try to have a physical some people have a mentality of uh, uh, it's very important everyone uh, try to want to feel the product and buy it but in case of uh, like iactc it's better because uh, to book it on online compared to compared to visiting the station so one of the key things that i want you to understand from this slide is uh, as a startup it it is going to grow fast and it should be exponential growth so there are some cases businesses which are linear for example if you are setting up a restaurant it is a linear business what happen you you have a customer which you can you have a capacity of your kitchen you have a capacity of your seating place so you can uh, scale we can do a business up to uh, like 2 uh, to 3 lakhs per month but after if you want to scale in that case you have how to put in a physical asset people to reach multiple uh, you have to own a uh, place physical place pay rent for it so in that case as the growth of the company increases the asset needed for uh, building the company also increases so these are linear based company and if you start a linear based company it is very good also that is nothing wrong in it so but when it comes to startup it should be if you are calling your company or your idea as a startup idea then you should go exponential that is one of the key things next example is so can you uh, in your locality what is the small restaurant you people like so you can give some examples so if some people is from madurai what is your uh, favorite local restaurant if you are from chennai in particular what is your favorite small restaurant uh, in your locality yeah you can unmute and put it in the chat I am audible to everyone, no? Yes, sir. Uh, yeah, you can tell any random shop which you like. Uh, Rasavid, Velachery. Uh, Rasavid, okay. Other than that, yeah. 
other people other. please kotur from malaysian porota yeah kotur from malaysian porota yeah it is very famous for tv students other than that parambur srinivasa parambur srinivasa so this are the kind of restaurant which are locally uh, famous among the people so other uh, restaurants are like a to b sangida selam which you can find in all the prime cities so like uh, in coimbatore or in uh, chennai madurai uh, on the way to velur or anywhere you are able to find this kind of uh, medium scale restaurant no so everyone agrees with it, agree with me yes sir yes sir okay then there are some uh, there are bigger restaurant like kfc pizza hut and burger king which you are able to find everywhere in all over part of uh, india so wherever you go in currently in every uh, district one shop is present so what is the difference between this three restaurants so they are they are increasing their profit by means of franchising they Thank need you. a profit they need a profit pakka they will need a profit so they will do they they get that uh, uh, that uh, vendor so that they will uh, so yeah because end of the day start entrepreneurship is about making profit yeah it's very good answer and they give francis model so by doing francis model what is what it helps them what is the, for example i am you are owning a restaurant i am trying to get francis from, from you so i want to buy francis from you because you are serving a better quality food so that are i i got it so our better menu you may have so by owning francis what is the advantage for me and what the advantage for you also you are the core restaurant owner you know the food menu uh, food uh, making process what is the advantage of being uh, uh, getting a franchise from you or what is the advantage for you to giving franchise to me you can cover wide area yeah you can scale okay you can serve multiple people very good other few more answers i need come on i have given in the right side no i have given few of hints and brand name so bring a brand name people will come to your restaurant okay if i am going to a new city i don't trust any other restaurant i will go to a already a restaurant which i have tasted in somewhere and i prefer the same brand so brand name is one of the important thing other than that what is yeah employment yeah uh, food taste sir food taste yeah so the hotel atmosphere so the ambience okay other than that family rooms for tasting food what sir family rooms family yeah, family rooms yeah you have a personal space for you so that's for family room person yeah that is important other than that so what make kfc the my, my current question is if kfc and pizza hut is able to scale they are present everywhere so what makes them different from small restaurant and this restaurant like a to b and the selam rr biryani so if people are familiar with selam rr biryani they work on base of cloud kitchen okay at a centralized location they make tons of biryani and they give uh, kg kgs to uh, small small restaurant uh, available in in the franchises franchises yeah so there are franchises something they own the business also so in both case they can operate okay but uh, the selam alara is doing it but kfc and uh, pizza it is able to do it far better than them what makes it able to differentiate them so it's diff- my hint is it is the type of food they are serving okay one of the hint is so uh, what type of food their food t- food taste is similar to uh, similar to any restaurant uh, they uh, for branch to branch it taste won't change they are maintaining the this they maintain the standards and also we can visit their kitchen also yeah good so what happen if you see this above foods they are like a local for example if a to b uh, we have a, for example biryani itself have a different taste in each location hyderabad biryani is there tamil nadu style biryani is there ambur is there if you go lucknow delhi everywhere it is different so it becomes uh, very difficult because of the taste of the food the customers uh, are become Uh, geographically constrained so they serve uh, uh, the customer segments are becoming very uh, narrow okay another thing is if you take a to b sangeeta and all they are making dosas dosas are very familiar in south india but when it comes to north india it is uh, roti and chapati other thing and uh, if you go to international market uh, 
it becomes uh, uh, for example for selam or biryani is trying to replicate their product in the international uh, uh, market so their chef has to be working over there that they uh, have need to deploy manpower to take care of the restaurant the taste and all but in came to kfc had there are cold based food so they, they work on cold storage they are frozen food okay and few uh, uh, so the chicken are processed and uh, um, are taken care in the centralized location and they are traveled they use a, their own core technology supply chain they have a stronger uh, supply chain management so they take the product from a warehouse to each location and uh, and they are able to have a standardized uh, procedure for making the food so um, so they are able to scale exponentially and they are able to give a better experience okay so everyone is uh, clear with it no for this use case yes. and one of and one of the key thing with kfc and pizza is you have to have, uh, do self service so they are able to cut the cost by we have to go and wait in the line make the order and collect the food so they are core people completely operate within the kitchen so they are able to uh, save the operational cost so they have a standardized preparation matter they have a very good infrastructure so everything so and they don't need a special for example if you take a biryani or any restaurant they need a special master who have a 10 to 15 years of experience to make a better food but in terms of kfc a beginner can also learn so they have built a product or a, or a food uh, in a such a way that can be replicated by uh, can be learned and uh, done by uh, any stops so next is business model so as you as we see in the previous slide a startup is an organization which is trying to uh, find a repeatable and a scalable business model so business model describes how a company makes money it's as simple as that if you someone tell what is the business model of your idea you are going to tell about how you are going to make money it's a, as a author energy we tell we are able to identify failures in the power plant so how we make money we tell the customer this is the failure so this is the cost of money you may lost so this is the action you take so we are informing you so that is the uh, we are informing you you have to pay for the service like 1000 uh, rupees per year for per device or uh, 20000 per plant per year you have to pay for me to get the service of monitoring from my uh, company so business model defines uh, completely about a company or a startup how they make money so let's see some of the use cases so everyone is familiar with ola so how ola make money so already hints are available so you can say how they all make money so they take a percentage from the fair yeah they take uh, a commission out of uh, for example there is a transaction between the user and the driver and in between the platform act as a broker and they take a small percentage of commission out of it other than that so people you have used the ola prime they may be able to guess few of the revenue streams here how many of you are familiar with ola share how many of you have used it you can raise the hand in the zoom how many of you used the ola share yeah good so previously the ola pass was available no how many of you familiar with ola pass yeah okay similar to for example you know there is amazon prime so what is the advantage of having amazon there are normal user who are using amazon and people who are having a premium uh, package called amazon prime so the advantage for amazon prime user is they can get the delivery within one day okay being they will be their priority customer so similar way for ola share the cost at any time uh, is fixed by give, getting a ola pass so ola share pass if you get the fee is going to be flat for all the for 10 kilometers it is going to be 50 rupees for um, uh, uh, 12 kilometers it is going to be 100 rupees so it is for buying this pass we have to subscribe to this plan so there are subscription income for ola so other than that uh, how ola is uh, earning there is a lease income you can see in the bottom the ola get money from leasing something what they lease cars yeah so they own the car and they lease and they make money out of it that is the important thing 
other than that you can see including marketing fees and royalties in the top uh, advertisement also has been used on cards yeah so how they advertise it uh cards that when by displaying in card yeah they have a tab if you see any ola cap they have a tab so where you as a prime for example there is ola uh, prime i think so in the prime you have to pay a monthly fee of 99 rupees so you can get access to all the movies songs uh, using that uh, tab and in the same way if you are a guy who is using the is you are not subscribe to the prime uh, content you can watch the uh, uh, prime plan you can uh, watch the content but you will have in between ad so for this promotions the ola will get the money from the from the uh, from the ad advertisement team so next is uh, on demand uh, video platforms so everyone most of them are using at least people will be using youtube for sure other than the ott platform so let's uh, try to understand how they make money so some people so netflix so how netflix make money Uh, subscriptions data data so data consumption so subscription so subscription is the one of the key thing so you subscribe for a plan for a year or a month and you make money so subscription subscribing video on demand so that is the one of the platform netflix hotstar everything will come into that uh, platform so another thing is transactional video so if you go to itunes you can buy a particular uh, singer album for uh, cost you can rent it or you can uh, buy it so it's like a pay per view so as you use you pay for it okay so it's like similar to electricity so how much ever you are consuming we are paying for it it's not a flat flat rate okay but in case of netflix it's a flat rate it depends on your uh, smartness you can consume your content 24 hours per day also so you are going to be paying the same amount but in case of uh, transactional video on demand or pay as per use as per as the hours you are uh, viewing or uh, as per as the content you are buying you will pay for it so youtube how youtube make money advertisement so advertisement, advertisement. yeah advertisement is the one of the key uh, revenue stream for uh, ads it's a key uh, the, data yeah data plans so now currently if you see you no know, if you buy a data pack of 2.5 gb or 2 gb you are getting a subscription of hotstar or amazon along with the packages so now if you are a, if you are an airtel user uh, mostly there are new plans you can get a, a 2.5 gb of data or 2 gb of data compared to 1 gb of data which is the previous plan and get a hotstar so uh, subscription also so they are cross selling your product within the data plan they are doing it so if people who are in the chennai they may be familiar with jio fiber or atl extreme so these people are uh, uh, giving a setup box where you can stream your uh, watch tv you can make phone calls you can consume internet so they are trying to uh, bundle like similar to smartphones previously the phone purpose was just for calling okay now after that alarm uh, maps everything came in built as a single device which iphone did the revolution and uh, similar way now jio is bringing all the uh, uh, bundled in the multiple service into a single box so uh, last platform is uh, cross uh, youtube is a cross um, uh, offer you can subscribe you can see in the youtube uh, there are content which you have to pay to view it for example you can rent the movie in the youtube that is the one of the revenue stream they use and if you are a subscriber to a specific channel they have a private videos so specific content which the patreons only can consume so you have to pay to this uh, subscribe to the channel to consume the uh, content which is uh, private to uh, the uh, payer only so another thing is uh, advertisement uh, which is a common uh, paying uh, keeping the content free for everyone so as you consume you will have a add in between or a post or pre the time of the video so next is we are uh, talking about technology let's see few of the technology companies how many of you familiar with spacex i think everyone will be every entrepreneur who want to be a entrepreneurs will be yes ma'am thank you so will be familiar with spacex so how spacex make money
so they have they are making a launch like each and uh, every week they are making launch how spacex make money uh, some yeah funding uh, funding is the way uh, they make money but they get funding from the uh, government agencies to do project for example nasa gave few billion and to them to put uh, astronaut on the international space station so for that they have uh, given a grants or a kind of of uh, funding it is, it is it is just for a product development but really how they make money for example spacex has to make money to pay to their employees so how they are building a uh, spacex is a company building a rocket so everyone will be hopefully familiar with it so how they make money so what is the purpose of rocket space tourism yeah space tourism yeah so they are currently working on it a space uh, ship so other than that currently how they are making money so generally why we use that, uh, rockets to launch satellite yeah for so make uh, for launching the satellite they are using rockets and how they make money for example there are multiple satellites what is the uh, key factor that uh, make uh, for example i am a satellite owner i want to launch it into the spacex okay you are also owning a satellite i am also owning a satellite you are you are paying you are having a 10 kg satellite but i am having 100 kg satellite whether we will be paying same amount or we will be paying different amount obviously different only sir space yeah. so yeah the key the spacex make money based on the payload so how many load they are taking based on the kg per kg they charge okay so for launching satellites other than that what they do currently they launched a, they did a launch which was extremely important for the history of nasa yeah one of the key important thing which one has one has specified is reusable rocket so they have built their technology yeah, which yeah. is reusable so they can reduce the uh, uh, cost per launch so that is the one of the important thing very good other than that they launch ast- astronomers for that uh, they get paid for each astronomer based on their kg they are uh, getting paid other than that currently on project they are working on it everyone will be familiar with starlink no <coughs> colonization in mars yeah colonization is mars their vision but currently they are having uh, yeah they are working on it so it's important so currently what we are talking is business model so currently how they are they are making money at the present moment how their company is trying to make money in future as what you told sir uh, there we will be colonizing in uh, mars for the there will be they may rent the mars or they may have some kind of business model in future that will come if you are going to travel to uh, if you are making tourism also to the space for that also there will be some uh, uh, cost so as uh, prithiv have told transporting people to international space station it is very good other than that so people will be familiar with starlink so 4g how 4g is the, that where we are getting uh, internet connectivity starlink is trying to uh, create a sat- uh, creating cluster of satellites which can provide internet connectivity to remote location for example no in order to set up a internet connectivity you need to uh, run fiber optic cable set up a towers so which is going to get lot of legal approvals uh, are cutting down the uh, play, uh, land for uh, laying the cables which is going to be time consuming and uh, cost heavy heavy asset heavy so but uh, they are developing a cluster of satellites which can um, provide a uh, internet connectivity at a cheaper price to the remote location which is one of the uh, rural areas so that is the important thing so that technology is called satellite uh, internet as told by kishu so next we will come to companies like zoho everyone will be famous everyone is familiar with zoho freshworks gmail so what are the service they provide they provide customer support sir okay they make crms okay sir second thing they are, each and every uh, mnc they are uh, getting money from the share market too yeah so that's a different part but yeah, yeah. they are getting profit from share too mm, yeah so that is a working capital okay so end of the day the whatever the share if you are setting a company to ipo we will get a some amount which will be a working capital it is it is not a, the money which we make from the, whatever the money which, 
uh, we get from the customer by providing a service or uh, product is called the it's a revenue so that is, comes under business model okay. so as pritu told zoho they provide financial they have zoho books which helps in financial transaction maintaining the books uh, filing gst income tax returns other than that freshworks they provide customer support for all uh, things so other service if anyone is from here So Baijus, yeah, Baijus. So Unitec, uh, they are Baijus, uh, White Hat. They are, so recently they got hired, so they got acquired by Baijus. So how Baijus make money? Online classes, tuition, mm -hmm. coaching. Yeah. So similar to way how we pay our semester fees or uh, for a particular course, we have a fee. Similarly, they have an online, we go to physical classes, they have an online classes with the pre-recorded videos and the platforms for asking uh, Q&A and uh, they sell a course as a package. So that's how they make money. So the thing is technology. So going with the physical class, the difference is if you are having a physical class, you can serve only, for example, let us, everyone is going to be in future may have a dream of going to be a lecturer. For example, uh, our professors. So if you are uh, 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 making uh, teaching people in a classroom, you can teach maximum six people. But if you are teaching the same content to the Baijus, how uh, you are able to reach multiple and millions of people and you will be paid based on that, you will be on commission based paid. Like for example, if thousand people are registered and they have paid uh, some X amount, you will get 10 percentage of X amount. Okay. So being an online teacher, uh, it's going to be uh, more valuable in future. So at Zoho and Facebook, they work completely on subscription basis. How Netflix and Hotstar work now? Typically, the Ola, Zomato, what we are talking about are B2B, B2C, business to customer. Okay. There are business companies which serves customers. So as an individual user, uh, we avail this uh, uh, services. But Zoho and Facebook, they are B2B businesses. What happens? They sell business applications to businesses. So uh, they are like, they deal with only business people. So they work with the entity, a group of people. Okay. So we have to understand what is the, so any idea you have, uh, have you have to check whether it be a B2B business or B2C. Well, based on this, the sales cycle will vary. So your approach towards sales will completely different. So next uh, we, we understood what is business model. So business model is all about the way how we make money so this whole uh, idea of any startup or any business uh, can be put in a single framework so that is called business model canva so this is a model canva it helps you to understand who are our customer what is the distribution channel how do we price and position our product and how we can create a demand to a uh, to customer so they can come and use our product repeatedly and who are our partners so how we build a product and how we finance the company Okay, so let's take let's uh, general use case. We'll take Zomato and Ziggy is there. Who are the customers for Zomato and Ziggy? So people can unmute and answer or put it on the chat. So we can people who eat in restaurants. Okay, people who eat in restaurants. So that is the uh, one of the uh, customers. Who is the other customer? People who own the restaurants. Yeah. So this is two-faced market. So you have a consumer uh, who are want to buy, have a food uh, by ordering and also the restaurant which sells uh, food. So what is the distribution channel? So for example, if I am ordering a food, so how I am getting the food? So if I am ordering a food through Zomato or Zuji or any, some, any other on-demand services, how, I am, how my food is getting delivered to my home? Yeah, you can. Everyone is so their supply chain model is different, right? Uh, they deal with the individual uh, that uh, that service person will come and uh, provide you the food. Yeah, so he is the distribution channel. So the delivery executive will help you to get the service. Okay. So distribution channel is that uh, the way. For example, as a company, as a restaurant, I have to serve better food uh, at your uh, doorstep. 
so for that the delivery executive will act as a channel to collect the food and delivering it to you so the whatever the service or value which i am going to create how you are getting you are, how you are giving to the customer how you are reaching to the customer is called channel so in case of zomato and swiggy the delivery executives act as a channel to uh, deliver the food so for example if a restaurant owner what is the channel uh, through which i can uh, brand my restaurant or uh, uh, post my restaurant ads yeah shiva uh, shiva sir shiva sankari ma'am has told it is application so you have a web application where you can host your uh, information about your restaurant your menu everything so this act as a channel to reach the customer so as a user i go through the app and search for restaurant so this act as a channel for the restaurant owner to reach uh, the customers okay then price and position how we create demand as a zomato and uh, zomato and sugi user how you what makes you to come to this app multiple times offers yeah there are offers some cashbacks so that's how you create people to come back and uh, use your app multiple times so in case of paytms and google pay they are giving cashbacks or uh, scratch cards which help you to come back and use this platform instead of uh, using giving a cash where we don't have any benefit out of it then uh, partners so who are the partners involved in this process how we build product and finance of this so we have come, uh, another session upcoming where we will go in detail with respect to your ideas for creating the business model that will be a very great section where you understand each and every part of it okay next is netflix so just we will go through a yeah, small use case example okay so uh, here there is value proposition you know everyone know value the value is the what is the benefit i get out of it so previously you have seen whatever uh, it has a recommendation algorithm which gives uh, uh, better content based on your own flavors it is it doesn't have any commercial in between you can watch the movie at any time start your own convenience and the customer segment so who are the customers are like teenagers or family group uh, whole family maybe uh, family maybe uh, customer to uh, customer to the product if you take care of uh, disney hotstar it is completely they have a separate uh, uh, package for kids so they have a segment within their own uh, uh, content so here it is a, for example revenue streams so monthly subscription plan they have different uh, plan basic standard and premium so based on that uh, they make money so this is just a overall view there is something called in a startup is trying to build a repeatable and scalable business model and uh, with respect to business model it's all about how the company make money and any startup idea can be put in a single sheet of paper using business model canva so it will tell all to uh, uh, all the activities which you are doing in the company and it is a common uh, language among the business people so for example as uh, value proposition you have to what are the benefits you are getting out of the uh, your pro- uh, giving out of your product and the service can be uh communicate in the value proposition so this is the conversation for example if you are having a meeting where uh, some people are talking in tamil some people are talking in telugu some people are uh, talking in hindi and you don't need a uh, so you need a common language to understand uh, uh, and communicate properly so the english acts as a common language similarly business model canvas acts as a uh, as a language for all the people who are in the business to understand your uh, product so next we will see what is the difference between a startup and a large company so when it comes to uh, startup startups are the company which are trying to find a business model okay they are trying to uh, make money they don't uh, they are trying to option for example if you see whatsapp uh, how whatsapp make money data the data we use for whatsapp whatsapp so that is yeah and also whatsapp consume uh, small thing and instagram how instagram make money Ad. advertisements Promotion. advertisements so initially no whatsapp didn't have a proper still no whatsapp for business make money okay uh, uh, so whatever the data chat they are making it is private it cannot be revealed to anyone so they don't make data with our uh, whatever data we are sharing with them 
so the whole thing is uh, whatsapp is trying to figure out a business model okay but already they are acquired by facebook because uh, they are becoming a competitor to their facebook because facebook initially people are using for chatting since they are becoming competitor uh, like competitor for them they acquired and they integrated all the status everything within the technology and now facebook is making uh, money uh, by uh, by ad they are uh, creating a marketplace now whatsapp is planning to ra- launch the payment uh, interface within their uh, platform so in future uh, it is will act as a business model for them so if you say if you see uh, uh, the startup and um, they are trying to figure out how they can come like they don't have a clear clarity how they can make money they are try just experimenting to find the perfect way but when it comes to prop uh, like uh, corporate if you take intel or uh, if you take tata companies or reliance so reliance uh, uh, reliance ref- refineries they have a predefined business model so they know the business are stable so for example covid has come some of the oyo has got a, a bigger impact they, because of the uh, traveling constraints but if you see petrol or fuel they are just operating and they are operating at the without a, a bigger impact so this business are uh, com- they are stable they know what they are doing they have a repeatable okay. stable uh, business model so that is the difference between the startup company and large company and a startup company can become a large company after a particular phase if you see walmart uh, acquired the flipkart so flipkart has become a corporate okay they have uh, become they have established a corporate business model and uh, it is got acquired by the walmart and difference between startup and small business for example uh there are the startup business are locally owned for example if you take a, uh, a restaurant example itself so it is locally owned it can uh, have a geographic constraint with it it has a small number of uh, employees it has low risk so you don't risk much you have low rewards only because as you want to increase your revenue you want to scale your infrastructure your staffs everything and it has a slow growth so small, these are the characteristics of a uh, small business so if someone uh, comes and uh, tell you i want to set up a restaurant and uh, i am a startup company no it's a small business and it is good to have a run a small business anyway you are going to make profit but there will be a, a lo- lower reward uh, for it but when it comes to startup you grow exponentially okay you start with a small dream only but it can grow uh, exponentially there is high risk high reward and we grow exponentially using technology okay we develop any technology or software to software is one of the core technology which helps in scale but it can be hardware also so hardware technology also can be used to, to scale for example spacex initially uh, spacex are using the uh, rocket uh, for example they have stage one multiple times okay mm, so that they are uh, able to reduce the turn around time for each launch reduce the fuel consumption reusability of the product so so hardware can be also used to scale but the, the the scale which we are talking about the rocket and all they are dealing in million dollar okay similarly we have to develop a hardware which can scale in a few million dollars so and everyone will be familiar with delicious ninja card dream 11 so dream 11 everyone is familiar no so it's like an yes, online, sir. Uh, yeah it's a online uh, uh, game where you use skills about your knowledge about cricket and try to predict the future what you can happen and kind of uh, gambling but it is based on skill so dream 11 doesn't come under a gambling as per the government of uh, india or uh, uh, justice since it is uh, based on the skill uh, you have to have a knowledge about the game uh, which you are uh, playing for example cricket if you can with kabaddi or other thing so it doesn't come under gambling but if it is lottery kind of uh, thing it comes under a uh, gambling kind of game so and lishias uh, how many of you hear about lishias they have grown exponentially in the last uh, uh, covid days so can you say what lishias does online food chain it is yeah. whole food chain sir meat meat uh, right. products yeah sure. yeah Yeah, yeah, yes, come on. Can, everyone can convey their perspective. Hmm. It is an online market which uh, supplies, supplies customers with 
meat as well as other groceries as well yeah so primarily they focus there are on demand grocery service completely uh, currently focused on meat okay and uh, they are able to uh, provide the higher quality and uh, you can pre order for example they work on uh, based on uh, supply and demand each for example if you want to order something from their website you have to uh, book one day before and you have to specify this slot so they match the supply time based on the demand and they will product the uh, deliver the product okay so they are, for example it's like a normal meat shop or any in our locality uh, shop in our area that they have used the technology uh, using a supply chain management software collecting the data they are able to scale and serve multiple people so that has in last few days they have uh, grown exponentially because since people are not able to visit physically and the close uh, the shop was closed so they are managing all these things in the cloud uh, cloud uh, marketplace so kind of a centralized location so they are able to uh, deliver better service so next is so uh, one of the key take away which i want you people to take from this whole last one hour is like as a startup as a founder as a entrepreneur everyone has 24 hours time so you can run a small scale company also a medium scale also large billion dollar company so end of the day it's about thinking about growth and scaling technology so being a technologist since you are a researcher who develop technology or engineer who build product you can uh, you can grow exponentially so whenever you uh, try to think about idea try to think it uh, in a Uh, bigger perspective okay if you are not having an idea also it's not a issue what happen any problem which is at a scale uh, as, which is a uh, lot of people are having also can be uh, become a million and billion dollar market so on a key thing i want you to understand is a uh, difference between a service and product business so product companies are like once you develop it multiple people can uh, use it you don't need to change it it is maintained in a single system but in case of service it need to be customized for example if i am a app developer i develop an app and put it on a play store million and billion of people can use the app okay it is going to be constant for everyone but if i am a website developer trying to develop websites for all the companies each customer a company has their own requirement and customization so in, for each customer the delivery process will be different and uh, work has to be or uh, the time consumed for each customer is not going to be constant it's going to be different so so try to build a uh, product companies because product company the scaling will be extremely easy so just i want to give a perspective of product and service so it's a service you can take a example of civil engineer okay a civil engineer or electrical engineer who are trying to build a like a 10 story building so for building a one story building if it takes one month if you are building a 10 story uh, building it is going to be taking 10 months so the effort cannot be reduced at uh, any scale because it has to take the same amount of uh, labor uh, manpower same amount of machine but in case of technology so, uh, or any other hardware innovation like spacex then you can uh, scale uh, exponentially and build product faster so okay now we'll try to understand what are the various phases of uh, uh, startup and who are the stakeholders involved involved in it okay so uh, so yeah. Yeah. how effective would be a startup towards waste management yeah it will be good so that we will come later okay uh, at the okay. end of the session we will be going most uh, let me complete this slide okay it will be the this part we will take care in the next session where we have customer discovery so this year we can complete okay, okay. so different phases and uh, stakeholders in the startup uh, ecosystem so generally you know currently you are in the phase of idea generation technology development so currently you have a idea okay you want to develop it as a uh, proof of concept or you can to showcase how your technology is working what problem it is solving so in this case who are going to help you so universities uh, research institutes and r&d funding agencies so that's why cd has come and uh, they have taken a great initiative with uh, helping the researchers uh, to develop their proof of concept so currently you are in the idea stage so in that case in this thing what you have to prove is you have to do the basic research and your uh, proof of concept you have to develop so in this uh, the university labs will act as a stakeholders industries uh, personal lab uh, 
they can give the inputs about the technology so they act as a stakeholder so these people you have to communicate work together to grow your idea second is the early stage where you have developed a proof of concept and you are trying to uh, validate your uh, uh, for example validate your idea by getting money so are the customer ready to buy, uh, buy my product or uh, prototype what I, i have made okay so the prototype what we are trying to talk is called minimum viable product that we will uh, see in the future session minimum viable product is like uh, the minimal minimum future, uh, feature the product can ha- have and solve the pre- customer problem so initially you can see the spacex has uh, falcon 9 so it has able to carry some uh, few tons two tons of payload but they made a falcon heavy in future which they were able to carry around a heavier load okay similarly if you take free charge initially they were used only for charging the mobile uh, recharging the mobile packages after that they now have a uh, paytm if you take paytm also paytm they were initially used for uh, charging uh, recharging the uh, uh, mobiles now they are we are able to pay electricity bills uh, all the bills we are able to pay we are have a marketplace where you can buy product you can able to make financial transaction out of it okay so initially we have we solve only a basic uh, uh, problem of the customer that uh, a product which solves that is called minimum viable product okay during the early stage the phase 2 where we work to commercialize our product we are completely developing working on our mvp products only here we will explore whether our product can be ip uh, we can do explore multiple application for example if i am developing a technology whether i can use it in a different uh, platform for example i make a hardware which is able to collect the current value from the from any device okay it is able to monitor the temperature i have developed a hardware which is uh, in a nano particle a mims based uh, sensor temperature sensor so i can put it in a human body also i can put it on a machine also i can put it on a, in the in the machine there are transformers uh, uh, multiple uh, motors and uh, chemical reactors we can put it in the pipes to monitor the temperature so we, exp- we try to explore the application so we have a developed a technology where we can uh, put, uh, put this technology for uh, application next is the startup establishment where uh, in this case no the innovation services offices incubator and pre incubator helps so incubators are like a, which helps to nurture your idea so they give you a clear cut idea uh, about your product and uh, there you are able to create the business model so one of the key uh, role the incubator play is helping you to define a proper business model canvas okay then once it is done we will go to startup establishment where you make as a private company or a llp company you register and you uh, take a funding from the angel investor so business angel are like uh, people who are they are the typical businessman they are successful businessman they have money they try to invest in the potential uh, uh, company and they try to Uh, make money out of it for example uh, initially i take uh, 10 lakhs from the for my startup then uh, once i grow exponentially the money will become uh, one crore okay 10x return i can give uh, to the customer in the other time i will be making a profit of 100 crores okay in that uh, so similar way angel investor try they are the risk takers they try to validate your idea and the team and they invest on the team generally then we will have the fourth stage where is seed and early stage funding so in the startup stage you will have initial track, uh, uh, traction startup establishment place place you may have 10 customer or 100 customer then after that you will go to uh, 1 lakh of customer then you will try to scale from 1 lakh to you want to grow exponentially to uh, 100 million in that case you need some um, uh, money for uh, hiring employees uh, office infrastructure building the technology team uh, doing marketing and sales in that case only the business uh, vc firms funding agencies private equities and the accelerator comes so the accelerators are people you are already having attraction traction in the sense you are making you are having 100 uh, customers they help you to accelerate from 100 customers to uh, lakhs of customers uh, then fifth phase is growth phase so uh, this is another stage out it's the same about the scaling it's come about it, we call it as blitz scaling so where we try to go to all the markets so uh, build a product which is serving within india you try to go to international market try to explore all other revenue streams value added services which you can provide uh, 
and the developer for example paytm was initially doing the uh, recharge for uh, mobile now they are have developed a paytm mall where you can buy product uh, and they have made a uh, payment gateway so where you can transact between them so in this case we will try to explore what are the other business opportunities how we can grow exponentially last is ipo uh, acquisition or merger so sometimes you may develop a technology but you are not able to find the customer but your technology is valuable to a company so in that case they will buy uh, your whole company or your technology uh, currently flipkart acquired a company called sapic where they have a virtual reality for uh, uh, during their in the uh, virtual reality for selling the product you can feel the product okay uh, um, so this kind of acquisition happen or a merger so where two company tries to merge uh, together for example flipkart uh, was acquired by uh, walmart so since walmart was a global uh, player in the us they want to enter into the indian market they cannot compete with the flipkart and amazon and put a whole uh, build a business from the scratch so they try to uh, smartly uh, buy the companies which help them to uh, uh, bring their product into the market and ipos ipos the dream for everyone so end of the day it becomes a public company so any retailers or end users Uh, can buy the shares from the company okay so this is the overall phase then we'll see another two slides um, this i will uh, just try to come with so if you now currently everyone has an idea okay you have registered or in future you may have an idea so any idea is just a hypothesis that you have to understand any idea is an assumption or hypothesis i want to use the word hypothesis that we'll see today because you will you will say uh, the people uh, who are using mobile phone are my customer this kind of generic terms are called uh, uh, assumption but uh, if you tell people who are using smartphone within the age gap of uh, 25 to uh, 35 or my uh, customer who are completely located in this area it becomes hypothesis so any startup idea which you have is initially an assumption from the assumption you have to make it as a hypothesis okay hypothesis are like uh, facts or data about the potential path of the company and the facts that you are need to prove that the idea could work well so using the business model canva we will try to make all the hypothesis we will try to put it on over there for example if you see uh, this business model everything was initially assumption so initially netflix when they created their uh, uh, business idea they uh, they want to say i will create a product uh, stream the videos without the ad they they might have talked to multiple customer whether this uh, service or this product what uh, we are providing without ad we will prefer the customers may have told yeah it's very useful for them then uh, by doing experiment they might have verified this hypothesis so any startup idea is initially an assumption then from assumption we make to move to hypothesis so for example you can see an example between assumption and hypothesis the market is large enough to support this business so these are very generic terms and when it comes to a, a hypothesis there are around 20000 query per month using the term prebiotic and uh, this number will grow 20% next month so these are more specific and which you can verify you can see some articles you can collect data do survey and, uh, and verify this assumption but uh, verify this hypothesis but it comes to assumption uh, the market is large enough to support this market that you don't have any uh experiment you cannot do any experiment to verify it it's just uh, implicitly you are believing it but uh, hypothesis are explicit they can be put on outside and uh, uh, verified okay so you can see uh, la- uh, here one of the last assumption we are able to raise an angel round easily so for example you people have uh, come to see event to raise money so you say i will uh, raise money from uh, uh, innovation voucher program but we have to be more specific we can send a cold mail to we can send mail to 10 investors so we will get meeting with uh, three uh, investors and we will try to close with one so these are hypothesis okay assumption are vague okay they are very harder to disprove when it comes to hypothesis they are specific and they can be experiment can be done to prove it so okay so currently whatever uh, idea you have is completely an uh, uh, assumption or hypothesis we do we do experiment to verify it so to do the experiment currently we will do design thinking so next stage is we do design design to clearly refine our idea after that we will do business model canva 
So in this is coming to us where whatever our hypothesis or assumption we are making, we will try to put it on a single page. And then we will do customer discovery and customer validation where we try to talk to the customer and try to understand what are the hypothesis what uh, we have made is true. It is really a fact. For example, the customer says he lost 20,000 uh, per day by traveling to uh, a site. So if uh, I am able to uh, avoid the travel for him, I can save some 20,000 uh, uh, for him and I can make uh, 5,000 out of that money. So this kind of assumption if you make, you have to uh, check these facts with them. So that is the uh, customer discovery and validation. After that, uh, we'll have a, uh, what are the funding opportunity which are available in the uh, current ecos for students, for researchers, for startup. There are a lot of government funding schemes. Uh, if you can Google and search it out, I will give some of the few uh, things. There are innovation voucher program, Nidhi Prayas, uh, Nidhi EIR, where if you don't have any idea, startup idea, but I want to explore my entrepreneurship uh, skills by uh, uh, working on multiple ideas, then Nidhi uh, uh, EIR, Entrepreneurship in Resident Health, there are BIDARC which uh, gives grant up to 50 lakhs. So these are completely grants. So grant means the money which you are getting, you don't need to repay them, okay? So which are provided by the grants. So grants are the money which you don't need to repay, man. This is called free money for, whole, for your idea, to, uh, idea to prototype development, okay? And uh, last part is entrepreneurship uh, mindset. In future session, we'll go in detail. So current whole the session objective was to give you the, what is the startup? Uh, uh, what is the business model? So what is the current startup I, uh, you are using in the day-to-day -day life? Then we'll come to the startup mindset. So as an entrepreneur, if you want to become an entrepreneur, these are the skills which you have to develop and which we can develop. We don't need to have this skills by default. You can build it on the way. So. This, uh, this is a uh, must. So you, we have to have a growth mindset and we have to learn uh, these skills. And you don't need to have it on uh, from day one. These skills are learnable and it needs effort. And it, as an entrepreneur, we are resilient and we can get it done. So one of the key things is purpose. You have to have a stronger purpose. Why you are building this company? So how many of you want to, uh, why you want to become an entrepreneur? What is the reason behind it? So everyone is attending this session. So what is the reason behind uh, becoming an entrepreneur? What made you to come to this session? To create employment. Yeah, employment. So, so it's a kind of creating impact. So your purpose is to create impact. Other than that, uh, generic reason. And also, and also making money. Yeah, making money. So everyone is uh, want to make money. For example, you know, when your idea is growing, as the startup is going growing exponentially, the way you make money also become exponential. So that is the one of the important thing about. Uh, but other than that, sir, uh, automatically that uh, growth of uh, country will improve. Yeah, growth of the country. Will improve. Individual so, company that uh, country yeah it's completely about the, about the purpose so what is the value for example you have your personal value and you have a stronger purpose so you should not have a mindset like i don't want to work under any people okay i want to be a boss so that kind of mindset we should not uh, come uh, and become as a entrepreneur so your main purpose will be create impact create value create build product which is useful for people you should be more uh, uh, like a uh, it should include a lot of stakeholders in you know, it. It should not be your personal uh, mindset, okay? And empathy, as an entrepreneur, you should have empathy. So empathy is like uh, trying to understand the people problem in their own perspective, in their own footsteps. For example, I have to listen, uh, for that listening is one of the key skills. So I have to listen uh, or talk to the customer to understand what is the pain of them, what is the difficulty they are facing. So once I understand the problem, uh, so I, I can give better solution to them. So empathy is the, one of the key things to understand the people problem. It can be your customer, it can be your employee, it can be your co-founder and vulnerability. So you are, should be open to accept mistakes. So no one is perfect in the world. So on the way you make mistakes, but you are able to overcome it and accepting the mistake is the one of the key things. So it's like being humble. Okay. And building trust initially, you know, uh, when you are forming a team, you have to build uh, a trust. It's like marriage. So how you trust your partner and uh, marry. Similar way, when you are start choosing your co-founder, 
you should have a complementary skills and trust them and similar way you have to build trust with investor trust build with customer so the trust building process is the day to day activity which you have to do okay and as a founder you hate inefficiency so in the hate inefficiency you will be able to identify inefficiency in the system for example we talked about irc uh, irctc and uh, booking the tickets in the going to the railway station there you can see there are huge inefficiency if you are going to visit on a, uh, going to the physical station i have to wait in the line i have to fill the form it is going to be taking a consume so this kind of inefficiency we try to identify in each perspective from this sales marketing product development every day you have to identify and you will communicate in a better way and you may have some up and downs you have to be resilient and convert your pain into fuel and accountability is the key thing so as the entrepreneur if anything goes wrong you will be t- you have to be responsible to take account uh, uh, accountable for the failure and if the, if anything goes well then you have to give the credits to the team so accountability is the important thing and you have to have a selling skill so that you have to develop uh, by talking to people by having you can lot of youtube video resources are there where you can uh, it's completely by practicing end of the day initially people won't give you opportunities you don't write better mails but after by practice seeing other examples then uh, talking with the fellow entrepreneurs you will develop the skill and networking so if your startup fail also end of the day you will have a greater success on the process of building a company which is your network so you have a network of fellow entrepreneurs alumni and industries if you are a startup in any case fails or you try to pivot from it these people will give you a job or they can support you with pilot so initially it is very important to talk with people uh, be helpful to each other and build a network uh, network uh, out of it so here also in the future session we will you people will interact with each other and you can be be also co-founder for example there will be one person who is a mechanical engineering doing some software kind of design and there will be a software developer who knows how to build a product you both can collaborate together and build a more valuable product okay this is the important thing so one of the uk use cases ether energy if you, most of you are familiar with the ether energy i think so they are make electric scooter so initially they started there are uh, the tarun mehta and his co-founder Mm, they were a ms doing ms in iit and madras initially they finally the product development project was uh, on a battery pack design so they made it efficient and after that uh, they thought where, where this they have built a technology of battery pack which is compact and lithium ion based in 2014 they did it and they went to uh, talk to a lot of uh, industry people where the application suits well so and they found, uh, found electric vehicles are uh, blooming and they uh, try to um, Uh, fit the technology which uh, they have developed in the uh, transportation uh, sector and the battery cost is around 40 percent of the whole vehicle so so they de- develop a technology which will solve a major problem and say they, they uh, de- de- develop the vehicle from the scratch and they are investor initially they took uh, investment from iitm itself then them, some angel investor came during the prototype to product uh, prototyping stage after uh, when it comes to go to market Uh, vc firms like uh, tiger global and uh, hero motor hero motor have strategically invested in them to support their manufacturing and uh, process so like so they are so they are like a role model for us so they started as a student and they have gone to a corporate currently they are the top of cv maker in the in india at the premium they have provide a product which is premium and a, a very efficient one so uh, this is one of the use case uh, or one of the fellow role model for us okay now we will go to q and a so anything uh, any questions you have from the previous uh, uh, slides you can ask now or any generic uh, questions So I am audible to everyone, no? Uh, yes, sir. Ah, yeah. With respect to waste management, you asked question, no? Ah, yeah. No, no, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I asked. 
Oh, okay. Mm-hmm. What happens? There are lots of product. Uh, for example, Echo First. I think that is a Bangalore-based company, which was founded by a, a, a girl who was in college. She was around 22, I think so. Okay. What uh, she developed is a waste segregation uh, machine. So what happens? This machine are at a small. They have a very form factor, a lesser form factor. They can be deployed in a local town or community. and they try to collect all the waste and segregate it out uh, uh, segregate all the waste degradable and non-degradable and they are able to make uh, value added services out of the non uh, degradable products so they have developed a technology which can segregate they get uh, free they collect the uh, waste of free of cost and they are able to segregate and they develop a uh, value added product out of it. they make tables use of uh, tables uh, chairs and uh, Uh, partition uh, segments using the plastic which they are uh, doing so these are there are a lot of uh, like waste free energy conversion also there is a huge market so if you are able to verify the technology there is a huge potential for it okay sir so other than you are be a profitable um, startup this means yeah what happen any it will be uh, it will be profitable only because you know, we have to understand the business model how you are uh, what is the technology you are developing and uh, mm. what are the product you are you are want to sell out of the technology what you are building based on that it can be profit it can be made profit any you know once you try to under talk to the customer and understand their problem no if you are able to solve the problem at the and the problem which you are solving multiple people are having no you are by sure you can earn profit okay okay sir <clears throat> yes sir Sir, uh, any other questions? Ah, uh, no, sir. No questions, no. sir. Uh, can I share my about my, my idea? Ah, yeah, yeah, you can do it. Sir, my idea is about standalone hybrid photovoltaic energy system for EV charging, sir. Oh, okay, yeah, got it. Okay. Ah, uh, is it uh, practically I can do us? No, well, it's already all. There are companies like Charge. For example, no, it comes to uh, In- Indian market. the penetration it's like a geo revolution yeah for example yeah. if free in future previously you no know, there was no 4g there was no smartphone okay once the after 2015 the smartphone uh, picked up the market picked up and the geo also made a great impact they grew they launched lot of towers they did lot of installation they grew into different areas then the smartphone has become uh, cheaper and everyone is currently having a smartphone and everyone is able to get a 4g network which is cheaper okay so this is one of the expo example for exponential growth okay similar way is a chicken and problem for example we don't have a ev altogether so we cannot put a charging station so but mm. at one stage someone will come and revolutionize and it will become a, 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 it will grow at scale exponentially it will grow and it will become also geographical for example uh, if you are in tamil nadu you will take care of all the ev station in the particular location Okay. Similar way, for example, I said, did some research. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Actually, I did some research uh, in EV, sir. I, in time, Bangalore to Kirana charger, you may know about this thing, sir. Okay. Then the shops they might have. Uh, a, Kirana, uh, uh, Kirana charger. They made uh, with within ten thousand rupees. They are making. Yeah, they are typically AC chargers, but AC chargers are also good. But one of the key revolution will be the DC charger. This advantage is for DC, sir. DC, DC will be too fast charging. Uh, okay. Uh, co- compare it to that. I'm yeah, a, yeah. I'm out. My project is thinking about that this thing only, sir. To achieve fast charging. Mm. Yeah. With that, uh, with that, I can I can save time for uh, for customers. Yeah, yeah. That's a huge market. For example, if you are able to develop a faster DC charger for two wheelers, which can keep the battery pack health safer, no? It is yes. going to be a great. It is the problem which uh, people are now facing. Okay. So. Uh, yes, sir. In two thousand. uh for example if you start currently working on currently you know by 2023 you will have a, at least 30 to 40 percentage of uh, vehicle which are on the road will be ev so that is a huge potential ah uh, yes sir that is the prediction mm. huge uh, potential uh, for it okay so my idea was to uh, use waste uh, whatever waste we have uh, means bi- biological waste or the household waste which we have yeah. and convert it into clean fuel 
using some chemical engineering techniques yeah. convert it into a clean fuel so that uh, we can curb the issue of waste uh, dumping or waste burning uh, as well as uh, d- doing this would uh, reduce the amount of diseases that spread through uh, waste dumping areas i'll also uh, converting them into a cleaner fuel um, which releases much less carbon footprints would also solve the problem for this uh, petroleum industry mm, this was yeah. my idea uh, That's actually a great I, idea yeah. actually iit khadakpur and iit uh, bombay they have been doing it in lab scale and recently uh, iit khadakpur has started uh, to take up waste from the the nearby areas and use a specific technique uh, chemical engineering technique to convert it into i guess um, uh, gas uh, lpg so my, my idea was to convert it into fuel okay. liquid fuel okay so what happened you know, with respect to this this is a heavy capital in, in incentive uh, like a capital required for the validating this idea is going to be heavy okay The, there are byrarch uh, fund which uh, they support up to 50 lakhs for uh, this start- kind of startup idea so money is not a issue for you okay the thing is technology so yes, whatever sir. you are technology you have, have you done it at a lab scale or any for example it cannot be efficient on day one it don't mm. need to be 100% efficient at least you have to be 20% or 10% efficient to do like uh, this what proof of concept we have to develop that you have exactly. done sir. that you have done already uh sir i have presently i have read through papers uh, okay. research papers as well as uh, the what other institutes are doing and how they are doing it mm. that uh, till there i have uh, read and uh, apart from that uh, to uh, set up a, set up an instrument and all that is right now not possible for me so that is why i joined this program yeah no so sure that, yeah what up no for this stage you can apply for ibp innovation voucher program okay Uh, okay. what they do no they help in research also for example developing a proof of concept or just making a theoretical design they give funds okay but it has to be some kind of physical experiment for example some chemical which you can mm. do in the pipette and everything like uh, some uh, uh, test tube level you are able to do it mm. then mm. they 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 are able to fund it around 2 uh, lakhs uh, for for you okay you can uh, try initially you no know, you just uh, make a clear idea what are the facts you have to check for example you told there is chemical which is able to convert it into a uh, convert waste into a, a biofuel uh, not a chemical sir it is a chemical engineering technique means uh, i need an instrument that is a complete instrument setup uh, which uh, in the presence of high temperature and high pressure mm. can convert any wet biomass into fuel okay. clean fuel okay so you try to scale it down or you try to uh, create a single for example your technology is, uh, you what you are conveying is your vision okay mm. initially uh, the goal of elon musk was to uh, send people to mars okay still mm. he have not achieved it. but uh, mm. he has grown a company to fund it. he has made a lot of business teams to fund that idea okay similar way you try to find what is the initial niche market or initial product which you can launch on the, based on this technology can you develop any for example uh, you are told about the instrument you can develop it under the uh, lesser scale for example uh, small capacity plant you can develop are yeah you, sure uh, surely sir uh, these instruments are available in like lab it. scale mm. uh, and uh, uh, pilot scale as well as in industry not in industrial scale right now in india but in foreign countries they have uh, scaled it up to industrial scale but in india they are still in lab scale only sir they doing it in lab and then they are validating the results uh, the amount of product they are producing uh, and they are increasing the efficiency of the process and uh, slowly they are shifting to pilot scale yeah so in this case no you have to read also for example do a better market research so like you three you have told already you have read a lot of research papers okay yes sir try to identify which are the companies already in the uh, like available outside of india try to how they have grown what are the funding they can take and so what are the skill sets that have, uh, like initially the people had what are the lab, lab that supported it so if you are able to get and try to research that lab what are the instruments were available so similar way initially you try to um, collaborate with some kind of lab so example let me let me tell you there is a company called agnigood okay based on iitm okay they build rockets they are indian based company they are building rockets mm. so what they did is initially they didn't spend uh, money on building the infrastructure for testing their rocket what they do told 
they went to uh, the national combustion and research development center so which is already established by iitm and they have uh, uh, they have all the rocket setting facilities so it will, it will be in few crores okay that whole setup what they told the the professor who was in charge of it he collaborated with them they made a mou and they onboarded him as one of the co founder and they are able to get access to that asset completely without spending a single money okay and okay. currently the company has begun as uh, get an access to asset of uh, like uh, for testing the rocket for next 3 years if you mou is like that similarly you can collaborate with any research lab. collaboration is one of the key thing which you have to think of on don't try to build everything from the scratch okay focus on your technology and uh, mm-hmm. try to collaborate and get it done okay okay sir uh, guys uh, there is a feedback form which is uh, in the chat uh, everyone try to um, fill it out <coughs> Uh, sir, can you explain me a little bit about this program because I joined it little late due to the network issues, so I missed a few minutes in the uh, early uh, early part oh. of the session. Okay, this uh, for example, no, this session is completely awareness program. So, for example, no, the whole objective of this, like the last one and a half hours, is you want to understand like startup is a company which can grow exponentially, and any company should have a business model. and the and you need a technology or, uh, or a technology to scale your startup idea this is the key take away from this whole session and and one of the thing any startup idea is assumption so whatever you told currently you know is just an assumption okay you have to talk to customer you have to do experiment in the lab to verify it okay mm, yes sir so, so what happen any uh, so that has to be done so uh, the session for you know today you are having idea we want to give you some access to grants okay so uh, cd currently cd which is uh, uh, directed by uh, professor arman sir and uh, deputy director mahalakshmi ma'am they are uh, providing lot of uh, like they have a, uh, they can access in knowledge portal for grant support okay so they can help you to route uh, get grants from the government okay so we are trying to identify the ideas which are potential uh, and we are trying to give some money so you can experiment whether this idea can work or fail if it's the idea what we can working on uh, you can proceed or not proceed that's the whole agenda of this uh, whole uh, whole event for next to six to seven days okay sir so means in this uh, in this program whatever idea i have mm-hmm. i can carry out the experimentation part and see if the idea is working or not yeah so what currently what we are trying to take we want you to think and talk about your startup that is the whole agenda what happened you have a startup idea but you don't have no how to present it in a talk about it in a better way so for example business model canva helps you to convey whole uh, all of your thought in a better way okay mm-hmm. so we are exactly. going through a uh, lot of frameworks which will help you to think better and talk about your startup better so that will be the whole uh, plan of this event okay okay sir so guys please fill the feedback form uh, and uh, you can connect i will be coming in the future session maybe in customer discovery and validation there we can have a detailed uh, session and uh, try to for example you know, in next session there will be uh, design thinking in our workshop so try to uh, have a paper and pen and work along with the speaker okay if you are making a business model try to take a uh, paper make a make a business plan layout and try to pitch your idea write uh, uh, your idea Uh, this is all canva on the way okay so end of the day you know uh, on the last day of the pitching session you should have a, an uh, at least a idea like uh, uh, this is a overall view of my idea and this is how it is going to work it can be theoretical so physically for product development we will see in the later stage so that's only that's why this is a phase 1 of the r2s um, event so we will be having another phase 2 phase 3 where phase 2 will be about product development phase 3 will be about completely going to the market how to sell your product make sales uh, everything okay so uh, any other questions no? sir and madam any on any research scholars or students having any queries you can just uh, it can be anything uh, common okay because no one is going to judge you here uh, we are whole our goal go our uh, whole intention is to grow so as a startup we think about growth so one of the better way to grow is asking the right question so any other questions you can put it in the chat or uh, unmute and communicate no question sir it is very informative 
thank you thank you sir mm, thanks sir thanks for your time also please, please do follow, uh, attend the following session it will be a chapter uh, sir yeah it will be a change for your life thank you all please fill the feedback form and uh, see you in the future session and all the best okay keep thank working you. on your idea and uh, let's grow faster uh, exponentially yes Bye. thank you mm, thank you sir thank you uh, thank you director sir and uh, deputy director uh, madam for uh, giving this opportunity and theory for uh, giving this uh, opportunity thank you all please fill the feedback form before you are leaving thank you ஆயில் <laughs> <laughs> दुर्गा पहले वो जा रही है ये इतना प्रॉब्लम आता है अरे भाई जंगल बाहर बार काम है
कॉल लेकर करें गमन तो हेल्थ इंका 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 ये जो इरुक मज़दूर होंगे खाली किस कोंदे ये ये तो चीज़ इंका जी ना जाने का जी ये लिदन कोना वैर पे वैर पे दिखे मन का कने चंदा
No, no, no puedo decir nada. No, no, no puedo decir nada. No, no, no puedo decir nada. No, no, no puedo Buruji Shamu Dantone, Buruji Shamu Dantone, Buruji Shamu Dantone, Buruji Shamu Dantone, If I never think of it, I think of it. I think of it. I I <laughs> am <laughs> Mandai, the people on the basket of the Mandai, the Bolo, 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 Negative an idea on the project, double 